The Office of International Affairs and Office of Diversity and Inclusion provided a trip to Philadelphia for 40 Ohio State students over fall break. So um, we decided a couple years ago we had been doing trips with international and domestic students um, over fall break and spring break through the Office of International Affairs um, and our overall goal as a global engagement team is to bring together international students and American students and talk about culture and learn from each other and learn about you know the world around us um, and the world outside of campus outside of Ohio. Everything that's going on in the world, we're getting so many different perspectives, and I think students are able to um, maybe reflect on their views and, and why they think what they think based on where they're coming from, and then hear from people who have very different backgrounds and upbringings and perspectives. I spoke with Yodai Tanaka, an international student from Japan, and Craig Bosley, a domestic student, about their expectations. The students, uh, domestic and international uh, that are in this trip with that are in this trip going to Philadelphia are all from like different kind of backgrounds and places than I've even encountered. So like, um, I mean, I don't actually know where the, most of these people are from because I haven't met them yet. But it seems like majority are not from like Asia, East Asia specifically, and majority are not like white. <laughs> so I'm really really excited from both sides actually, just to kind of like make new connections just learn about more about people. In Japan, I study political science and I study mainly about American politics and uh, we are going to Gettysburg during this trip and uh, Gettysburg's battle is very important in both politically and historically for American history and um, I'm very excited to see what I learned in textbook because I know that it's going to be different to actually to see the place. After a six-hour bus ride, they finally arrived in Pennsylvania. The first stop was in Gettysburg for a guided bus tour. The you were going to drive over is Cemetery Hill, the bend in the fishhook. And then to your left and behind you will be Cemetery Ridge and then a little round top at the end. Afterwards, they finally reached Philadelphia, the city known for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. At the conclusion of the first night, I spoke with Tanaka and Bosley to hear their thoughts on what was seen so far on the trip. First saw the battlefield didn't make me feel like we were in the battlefield because it was such a like peaceful, quiet places place. But after watching the museum video or like movie, like I I had a like, strong feeling that there was like a lot of loss on the battlefield and um, it made me like super emotional that there were like tons of loss to unite the country because it was such a divided place between North and South. So the civil war happened to unite the country, right? So, to unite the, like, the topic was about slavery, the main topic to, to unite the country was slavery. What do you think that the United States had to lose, lost more than 600,000 people to end the slavery? What do you think the cost was for all of that? Like, what do you think about, like, why the United States had to lose that much of people to end a slave. I think it was like very necessary just for the sake of... Well, it was necessary in the sense that like, the battle in a sense was kind of a fight. It was like one of the first fights for like civil rights in a sense. And like the fact that people are people and they can be equals even though they're different. Um, and then they can be seen as more than for some people, like more than just objects, so like that's it's like it's almost like the first fight for civil rights. The next day included a scavenger hunt that included finding a native Philly cheesesteak and finding a park to honor the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> They 
They then visited museums and were able to tour around the city. The evening concluded with conversation and reflection about the different sites seen on the trip so far. By going to see the Confederate Monument, and then we think about all the debates and things that we have on going on today, whether or not it's, it's okay to be there, and whether or not like what they represent, and how it's not okay. And so I was like, seeing it in person, because I've never seen a Confederate Monument in person. So being there, seeing like something so big and in person, it was like, it was weird because it was like, I could see both sides. I could, I was having like a conflicting, like battle going on in my head because at one point, the blackness in me is like, I don't appreciate this statue. I don't appreciate what it stands for. I don't appreciate what they fought for, what they wanted. But at the same time, there was this part of me that was like, this is like a part of history. So I under, like I understood why I was there. Well, I'm from Mexico, so I was pretty much called a rapist and um, a drug dealer. Which Whenever I've been criticized for being Mexican, it's usually from older people. So, like, I've never been criticized by young people. So I'm kind of, um, like, I see a change, and I think the change is going to come soon. Um, so kind of like as we keep growing up together as a society, I think that the change is going to come soon. After visiting and experiencing the lively city of Philadelphia, they made their way back to Columbus. Both Tanaka and Bosley welcomed me in their homes to catch up and see how the experience from the trip impacted them. One thing that I didn't know about OSU was that there's so many like exchange students who are here for like only a semester or a year. And that's kind of like disheartening to me, I guess, because they don't actually get the full like OSU experience. So like whatever they experience in that short amount of time is what they're left with when they go back. So I think it kind of brings an urgency to like try to reach out to more international students and kind of like get to know them and talk about just how their life is going, how OSU is going, how Columbus is, kind of like introduce them to Midwestern American culture. It's nice to learn about the United States from domestic students because we as international students see the United States pretty differently than them. We are pretty together all the time and um, <clears throat> he helped me a lot about my pronunciation of English and uh, he tried to teach me the things he learned when he was in Taiwan and he taught me about American culture as well. Hopefully when I graduate I'll be able to study graduate school in Taiwan. So I'm applying to that right now, and I hopefully I'm going to be able to do that through the Fulbright, but I definitely could see myself like going to visit him in Hokkaido University while he's there finishing up his undergrad while I'm doing grad school. The problem is that we are going to Jenny's to get ice cream, and uh, we're prep, like we're going to study together sometimes, and we got to catch up about what's going on. Thanks to OIA and ODI, the conversations and experiences through the trip would allow students here at OSU to connect and understand one another a little more than before. Jamela Muhammad, Lantern TV.